Hello friends, welcome to C Programming Tutorials brought you by Programming9.com. I'm your instructor and my name is Raj Shekhar. And in this class, I just uh, give a brief introduction about the variables. Let us see what it is, how to use these variables and what is the storage structure of these variables in the memory. Let us uh, discuss some in deep about these variables. Let us see what is a variable first of all. Variables are just names used to refer to some memory locations of a computer. I think this is the most important point we need to remember about the variables. Variables are the just names which are used to refer some memory locations in the computer. And we will discuss about this in later in a simple diagram. And of course, a piece of information stored at this location is simply referred as a value of a variable. And the variables are not fixed values and might change during the execution of a program. Here we mentioned not fixed values and there are some fixed values those will be con considered as constants. So in, vari in variation with the constants we can simply say that variables are not fixed values and might change during the execution of a program. What does that mean is once we define a variable with a particular value we can change so many times in the program. This is the basic syntax to declare a variable like int d float a comma b double f. These are some examples. And before that, you can, if you see the syntax, data type space variable name and semicolon. This is called a line terminator, and the variable names might be anything in the real world. Generally, we should have to start with the alphabet. That is always a good idea. Your name, my name, and of course any of the object name, whatever you want in the real world. And here the data type. Data types are the type of data that might be integer, float, double, character, or anything else. And of course, we generally use this in float, double, char, short, int, long, int, uh, and so on. <coughs> this is a simple syntax to declare a variable in C programming language. How to define a variable? We need to uh, discuss two important things here. Declaration of a variable and defining of a variable. Declaration of a variable means simply we write int a in terminator, float f in terminator, double d in terminator. But in comparison with that, if you compare it, uh, that with the defining a variable, we have to allocate, we have to assign a particular value to that variable using a equal to symbol. This is very simple, int a equal to 10. If you see the previous slide, here I mentioned int d. So this is just a declaration of a variable, but here I am defining a value to, to that particular variable. This is very simple and of course I mentioned here int float double and char. Here the character simply represents with a single quote. <coughs> Let us see how the variables are stored in the physical memory or in the RAM. Like uh, let us see the simple example of int a equal to 10, b equal to 20. I have taken these two values and I, I just wanted to uh, store those two values in memory location. So what I have done is, this, these are the memory locations of the RAM. Just assume each memory location contains two bytes of memory. So variable a have been taken two bytes of memory, variable b have taken two bytes of memory. So in those first two bytes of memory, I have taken 10 as an integer value and in the second variable b, I have taken 20 as the variable value. And of course, I stored these values in a particular location called 1000 and 1002. I haven't given any of these locations, but that was by default, the compute, the processor, the CPU will allocate addresses to the physical memory or to the RAM. So no need to do anything from our side. What we have to do is just declare int a equal to 10 comma int b equal to 20. I just combined these two. You can also declare int a equal to 10 and, uh, semicolon and int b equal to 20 and terminator. This is quite simple. <coughs> if you see clearly, variable a completely 1000 address location in the location where we store this integer value. This is the physical memory location and the address pointing to that physical memory address location. I combinedly calling this as a variable A. Simply, variable A address location is 1000, variable A value is 10. Similarly, variable B, if we consider variable B, it completely takes this part of memory. That is, 
address location and sorry the address location and the address so finally a equal to 10 and b equal to 20 there are some rules for using variables the variable name can contain letters digits and the underscore may be anything the first character of the variable must be a letter or underscore it is not highly not recommended to use the underscore it's better to use the alphabet variable name must not be the same as the reserved words or keywords we will discuss about the keywords later but see have some predefined keywords generally those are 32 keywords we should not use those keywords under the variable names it should not contain any white spaces that is the most important thing generally most people will use spaces while giving their names of the programs it is not recommended to give the white spaces always try to use a complete common name if you, if you really want to use the spaces to define some uh, to where to, to show the difference between two words we have to use the underscore it is recommended and sometime and one more thing we need to remember here is variables are also part of identifiers in c programming language thank you thank you very much please share this video <coughs> this is brought to you by programming9.com thank you